Naruto. He's the orange boy with a heart of gold, and his series has gone on for a long time. And I mean a really, really long time. In fact, it's basically still going on in the form of the sequel series, Boruto. This series has garnered a reputation for going downhill at some point. And for me personally, I think the series started going downhill after the Chunin exams arc and really went downhill during the fourth great Ninja War arc. I'm going to explain how it went downhill in the Ninja War arc, but first I want to talk about the Chunin exams arc and what it did right and what made it so special. It's one of the high points of the series for me. The Chunin exams arc is the second major story arc in Naruto. It's about Naruto and his fellow ninja classmates going through tests to try and become Chunin, which is the next rank up in ninja. And this arc does two core things right that really set it apart from a lot of the later arcs in the series, particularly the fourth great ninja war arc. The first thing this arc does right is establishing a bunch of characters while actually making them all interesting and giving them all a place in the narrative. And the second thing it does right is having a tight narrative focus that doesn't jump around too much and doesn't have so much going on as to bog down the story. The first part of the Chunin exams, the written part of the exam showcases every new ninja's individual techniques and strengths as they have to cheat on the written exam in order to pass. This is a great way to introduce each character because it gives you a taste of how each of their powers will be used later on in the series. The second portion of the exam, however, involves all of the examinees fighting in a giant forest to obtain two scrolls and bring them back to a checkpoint. During this portion, one of the series' most prominent villains, Orochimaru, gets introduced. This portion works because it mainly focuses on the three protagonists of the series, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke, and weaves the other characters into their journey through the forest perfectly. It leaves them as the main narrative focus and this works very well and culminates in a big fight between Orochimaru's four underlings, the Sound Four, as well as Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, Ino, Choji, Shikamaru, and Rock Lee. This fight shows great chemistry between all the characters and really makes you feel for each of them. Now the preliminary matches of the Chunin exams that come afterwards provide one-on-one -on -one matches between all the characters we've come to know so far. These one-on-one -on -one matches contain some of the most memorable fights in the series because they show the strengths of each character perfectly. In no other part of the series, does this happen where these characters fight each other on this level? You get to see great tactics and great emotional scenes as each character fights. These factors are what make the Chunin exam arc one of the best in the series. And though plenty of the later arcs are still well done, the series starts to slowly go downhill from that point on, and it really loses what made it special by the time the Fourth Great Ninja War happens. The Fourth Great Ninja War is one of the most tiresome arcs to get through in my opinion, because there's just so much going on and none of it's all that interesting. While the Chunin exams introduced a bunch of characters and all made them interesting and all weaved their storylines together perfectly, the Fourth Great Ninja War does the opposite. It starts off with a bunch of splintered battles that aren't very interesting. You see, right before the the fourth great ninja war there's a summit that's held between the kages or the leaders of each major ninja village and a lot of these kages get introduced to the story first during this little summit and with them come fellow travelers from each of the other ninja villages so you have a ton of new characters from a bunch of different ninja villages that are just thrust into the story and they're all participating in these battles during the fourth great ninja war but we don't really get a chance to see them grow or develop as characters so seeing them fight in the battle doesn't mean all that much and it just makes the battles tedious and repetitive I feel like the Chunin exam arc took more time to develop and explore the new characters it introduces. And for the most part, we experience and learn about these characters through the eyes of our three main protagonists. Another major factor that makes this war arc so tiresome is the fact that they bring back a lot of the characters that died previously in the series. The character Kabuto does this by using Edo Tensei Jutsu. And this is one of the biggest problems with this arc. One of the most egregious examples of this is when Haku and Zabuza are brought back and they fight Kakashi in the war. This fight is one of the worst in Naruto and is almost embarrassing to read through. The whole fight is spent basically just having flashback sequences to the Land of the Waves arc where Zabuza and Haku were alive. Kakashi ends up telling Zabuza and Haku that he's glad that they were Naruto's first opponents and they end up having a sort of mutual respect for each other in the end and Zabuza and Haku just get sealed away. This idea of bringing characters back to life in the first place is frustrating because it oftentimes invalidates the emotional weight that that character's death had in the story. I mentioned Zabuza and Haku, but probably the worst example of this is when Itachi gets revived. This is one of the most insulting parts of the series for me because Itachi's death was such an emotionally impactful scene in the series and it changed Sasuke's actions and motivations in the story. Deciding to just bring the character back to life after all this happened is just cheap fan service and is just awful. Itachi's death had meaning and purpose in the narrative, and when you go back on that, it doesn't make me like the character more, in fact it makes me like the character less. 
Overall, I just think the fourth great ninja war arc was cluttered, and though it had a lot of good ideas, it didn't execute any of them well. But anyways, that's all for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next one.